so since on the screen you have there our problem okay now if we cross a female who is a carrier of the gene for hemophilia and a normal male what will be their possible offspring first is the given so the given okay a female who is a carrier of the gene so the genotype of the female who is a carrier is X capital letter G X small letter G this is the genotype for the female who is a carrier of the gene cross with a normal male the genotype for the normal male vision or normal vision male is X capital letter G and Y this are our given the second step is we are going to use the Panet square because we are going to identify now their possible offspring so we are going to create a Panet square Now, first on this area, we are going to distribute now the allele of each um, parent. So let's start with the female parent. So we have the X chromosomes carrying the dominant trait or allele. And another one is the capital letter, a small letter G rather. Okay. Now, on this side will be our male um, parent. So we are going to copy the X chromosomes with capital letter G and the Y chromosome. So this is now the arrangement. We are going now to cross each allele. Okay, so for the female and the male, so we are going to copy X from the female chromosomes and X from the male chromosomes carrying capital letter G. Now the second square is we are going to cross the X with small letter G or recessive trait and the male chromosomes. So we have here X. Now we are going to write first the chromosomes carrying the dominant trait and following the X chromosomes with the recessive trait. Now next for this one, so we have the female and the male chromosomes. So we are going to copy the female chromosomes X with the dominant trait and the Y chromosomes from the male. Next one is the X carrying recessive and Y chromosome. So we are going to, un to write X with the recessive trait and the Y from the male chromosomes. Okay, now we are done with the Panet square. So next one is we are going to identify the genotypes of the possible offspring. Let's start with the group of female offspring. So we have here first square, okay, and this one. So how many percent or the ratio of this genotype from the square? So if you can see, there is only one combination of this trait. So we are going to write one or in percentage form, it is 50%. Next one, we have this. So we have X, dominant, and recessive, heterozygous trait. And that is again, only one for the female group or another 50%. Therefore, for the female offspring, there will be possibilities that 50% of the female offspring will have this genotype and 
one or 50% of female offspring will have this genotype. Now next for the male group. So we are going to copy again this first, okay, we have here and the Y. And by the way, how many? We only have another one or 50% of the male offspring. Next one is the last box. So copy recessive trait and Y chromosomes. And how many again? You have one or 50%. So this are the genotype of our of the result. Now let's answer the phenotype. We are going to identify now the physical traits of our possible offsprings. Let's start with the female group. This are the female group, and this are the male group. For the female offspring, so 50-50, this genotype, you can see on the screen what particular trait if this is the genotype. So this is for the normal vision female. So the phenotype of this one is normal vision. Okay, next, for the second one, we have here this genotype on the screen again. This is for normal female but carrier of the gene. So, the phenotype of this genotype is carrier of the gene. Okay, now proceed to the male group. For this one, you have X with the dominant allele and Y chromosomes we have this on the screen again this genotype is normal vision for the male and the last one this genotype on the screen again it uh, means that this male offspring has a red green colorblind vision or shall we say hemophilia so for final answer this our genotype when the female is a carrier of the gene cross with a normal male the possible offsprings would be 50 percent of the female offspring would have normal vision 50 percent of the female offspring would have carrier or the gene for the male offsprings there will be 50% chances or possibility that the male offspring would have normal vision and the other 50% would become hemophiliac or has a red-green colorblind vision. And that is the answer. Thank you.